it's Jamie Anderson and in this lesson video I'm going to teach you how to hold on to your pick. Now that may seem like kind of a strange topic for a lesson video but I hear from a lot of beginners who say you know it feels like an alien being at the end of my fingers. The pick sort of spins around or I drop it. Well in this video I'm going to give you some tips about holding on to your pick. All right. So the first thing is make sure that you're holding the pick correctly. The way that I hold it is I put my thumb across the back and then I put my index finger on the other side. I leave a little bit of the tip at the bottom but not so much that I have a loss of control and not so little that my fingers are brushing the strings. Let the pick brush the strings. Here's a close-up of how you hold the pick and how you strum the strings. You want to hold on to the wider end of the pick. You can see that I've got my thumb across the top and I have my index finger on the other side and I'm strumming lightly down, I'm playing a G chord here, strumming lightly down with my hand slightly tilted and then I'm going to slightly tilt it the other direction. Now don't tilt it very much, if your wrist is twisted all around that's too much. So down, up, down, up, lightly across the strings. Don't dig in deep. Now some of my students prefer using their middle finger on the other side, or perhaps two fingers, that's perfectly okay. okay. It could be that your pick is spinning around or you're dropping it because you're not holding it tight enough. So make sure you've got a pretty good grip on it. However, if you look down and your fingertips are turning white, perhaps that grip is a little too tight. <laughs> so that might not be your issue. Make sure you're using the right pick for you. So I like the Jim Dunlop picks because they have uh, a little bit of a grip on one side or at least the ones that I use. All right, I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you a close-up in just a second so that you can see that. And as an aside, Jim Dunlop, I mention your picks a lot in my videos just in case you'd like to sponsor me. Anyway, <laughs> um, picks that have a little bit of a grip on one side are a little easier to hold on to, especially if your hands sweat a lot when you play. It also helps if you get the right thickness. Keep in mind that there are several different, different thicknesses for picks. This is a medium uh, thickness, which I prefer. Every manufacturer is different. You might want to just go to a music store and pick out a selection of picks and simply choose the one that's right for you. Another way to beat the spinning pick drop pick blues is to use a black mountain pick. So a black mountain pick is very cool. It's got a flat pick on one side, and on the other side, it's got a little piece of plastic that holds, your, um, holds it onto your thumb. So what I do when I use one of these is I put my index finger on the other side, and there's no way that pick is going anywhere. You can also do it without um, your index finger on the other side. Here's a close-up of the Black Mountain pick. So you can see that it looks like a standard flat pick on one side. And then if you flip it around, you can see that it's got a piece of plastic that wraps around your thumb and that makes it really stable. So you can either strum just with your thumb or you can stabilize it on the other side with your index finger and hold on to it that way. How cool is that? If you want more uh, information about Black Mountain Picks, I'll include the link below this video here. Or you can just search Black Mountain Picks and you can find them. The other thing that you can try is um, not digging the tip in, the, the pick in rather, uh, so deeply. Because if you're sticking that pick way in, that's going to provide more resistance and that will make the pick spin around. So make sure that you're just lightly strumming over the top. You can get a louder sound with a heavier pick if that's what you're looking for. And lastly, you don't have to use a pick. I know, I waited until the last thing to tell you this, but there are some great guitarists who don't use picks. It will give you a softer sound, <clears throat> and you will need uh, a callus on your thumb and perhaps on your finger. But the way that I strum when I'm not using a pick is I strum down with my thumb, 
So I'm kind of using the side of my thumb here. And I strum up with the pad of my finger. So you can hear how that gives you a softer sound. So there you go. There are several ways to hold on to your pick. Uh, please hit that red subscribe button in the corner. And while you're at it, hit like because you like me, right? <laughs> Um, and if there is a lesson you'd like me to teach and you don't see it already at my channel, please put a suggestion in the comments below. Please go to jamieanderson.com if you're interested in Skype lessons. There's an email form that you can fill out. And while you're there, look around. I'm a singer-songwriter and I've got lots of albums. Thanks a lot, everybody.